Hey YouTube, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we are jumping straight into the Toy Day holiday celebration. So without further ado, let's get straight into today's video. So as you know, the holidays are fast approaching and without a moment to rest, the Kringle Mingle with Jingle seasonal event is well and truly underway. Now I'm not really sure what to make of that title, so we'll swiftly move on. As always, this season is packed with events and premium collections as well as some festive limited time items. This month's event material is none other than the golden candy canes which will of course go towards unlocking this month's items including the Santa hat, the ornamented white tree and the adorable giant holiday bear plushie. This season's goals also offer bonus rewards including leaf tickets, reissue materials, sparkle stones and a bunch of maps which are always welcome. Now as you may have guessed, being the first day of the Kringle Mingle with Jingle, Jingle himself has stopped by to host the latest garden event called Jingle's Frosted Forest. Just like previous events, the garden event is broken up into two halves, with the first half allowing us to plant and harvest green and orange gingeranium flowers in an attempt to attract and catch orange and white ice-winged butterfly creatures, while the second half will allow us to plant and harvest red gingeranium flowers to hopefully grab ourselves some of the larger green royal and pink royal iced wing creatures. If you haven't guessed already, Jingle is clearly a fan of the whole gingerbread theme this Christmas. Now Jingle is only interested in these delicious sounding butterflies, fortunately all harvested flowers grown in the process are never wasted because as always Lloyd steps in to save the day and will happily trade in any spare gingeraniums for potted versions of each which is awesome. Just don't do what I did last time and forget to trade them, I still haven't forgiven myself. As always Jingle being the generous and thoughtful reindeer he is, he will reward us for our efforts throughout the event for catching as many creatures as we can. Some of the items available include the gingeranium hairpin, the frosted forest wall, the plain cookie snowman, the red gingerbread girl, the white gingerbread tree, the green gingerbread tree, the green gingerbread man, the cool looking frosted forest path and finally the red candy cottage which is an absolute must for our camps this holiday season. Continuing with the garden event traditions, the Frosted Forest event includes some bonus tier 3 tasks, some garden goals and of course a bunch of happy homeroom classes. Don't forget this event should be much easier this time for those of us who have a campsite caretaker too as they will collect seeds and even catch creatures while we're away which is super handy. Personally I tend to only just complete garden events in time so this will be interesting to see how much having Cube by my side actually helps. So yeah, for now, that pretty much covers all the latest news surrounding Animal Crossing Pocket Camp. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any news regarding Pocket Camp or New Horizons. I'm almost certain we're going to hear something in the next couple of weeks, so stay tuned for that. Until then, I'd like to give a special thank you to this channel's Patreon supporters, you guys rock. Don't forget to head over to our Discord server, and of course, if you got this far in the video, please comment gingerbread just to let me know you did, that'd be super awesome. And please be sure to include who you have assigned as your campsite caretaker. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it entertaining, please be sure to leave a like if you did. Thanks for watching, hope you have an amazing day and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.